so you 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 working on a game with a, a very rich history, uh, Sid Meier uh, civilization. Uh, what does what for you uh, does uh, what important has a leg the legacy of his name, and what do you think of the legacy of the franchise? Uh, we never forget the legacy of Civilization um, and how fortunate we are to work on it. Uh, it's a, we've been making Civs at Braxis for over a decade and as a designer I really feel that and our fans love this game so much and it's been with a lot of people their, you know, their entire gaming uh, life and that's not lost on us. The legacy of Civilization is incredibly important and we listen to our fans in order to maintain that. Um, we have a very good relationship with the fan community and Beyond Earth is a direct result of, of that interaction, the demand for a civilization in space. So we take the legacy very, very seriously. Okay, um, you earlier told me uh, a civilization is an optimistic game. Uh, in a world where we are not very optimistic right now, uh, <laughs> uh, how, uh, how optimistic, what do you mean by optimistic? I think if a civilization game, particularly Beyond Earth, has an agenda, Uh, one a message of optimism would be would be the agenda. Um, the the game starts uh, 200 years after something called the Great Mistake happened, and it was a catastrophe that destabilized the world's nations, and and it was a it was a disaster um, beyond the scope of anything we've ever seen before. And the game picks up when humanity has overcome that and has gotten to the point where we're ready to send people off into space, and that's a very optimistic place to start. And then you land on the new world, and there there is definitely uh, conflict, um, but you ultimately thrive there, and that's a that's a very human story of, of optimism. Okay, um, E3 is mostly, mainly, uh, very much focused on uh, console, next gen con uh, 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 console. Civilization is a title for PC and for uh, for gamers like well, not that hardcore gamer uh, shooters. Uh, what do you think about the next-gen console battle? Uh, would, you, would you see a future for a Civilization fran uh, franchise on such devices, platforms? I Sorry. mean, Civilization uh, Beyond Earth is definitely a PC title, and it's very important to us in the midst of all of this next-gen uh, stuff that as many people be able to play the game as possible. So we pay attention to our min spec just as much as we pay attention to our max spec. Um, however, we are taking advantage of some new technologies to come along, um, namely Mantle, AMD Mantle. Um, we've had a, a really great time working with them to integrate that technology uh, into the game. So if you have a Mantle-enabled uh, uh, graphics setup, um, you can take advantage of that. The game will run very nicely. Um, but it really is important that everybody that can play can, you know, Enjoy civilization. And, and do do you have a next gen console? And uh, is next gen console for you bring something that PC cannot bring? Uh, you certainly sit on a couch when you play next gen. Um, I do have a next gen console. Uh, Fraxis is always looking for new opportunities, um, but this is definitely a PC product. And you don't want to tell me what console you have, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, both. Oh, both. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Very, uh, thank you very much. You're welcome.